Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Evil Genius 2. We have started our Zalika run, where we will defeat the world through brain power, not brutality. And the first part of brain power, now that we have gotten past the tutorial, is reorganizing the base so that things are a little bit more efficient, because this... This is just messy. So, I'm sort of generally dividing the base into two parts. The part that's going to be safe, which will be right around this area here, and the part which will be not so safe, which will be back here, where we're going to have a lot of our secret stuff. So, succeeded. in this scenario, the only way anyone can get into the base is through the casino. They must enter via the casino, or if we do the submarines eventually, they'll have to enter through there so we can sort of plan ahead with the way they're going to enter. So because of that, we need to move things around so our safest rooms are up front. But I do... At first I was going to say no hallways and just have the rooms kind of here. But if we have hallways, then we can have traps. And I think that's going to be the better option. So I'm going to try something kind of weird because having a direct hallway like this works but I wonder if having a serpentine path would be better and I never plan ahead very much when I make my bases which drives some people who watch this show crazy but I don't care it's more fun when I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> so enjoy the time lapse music and I'm going to redo this entire base to make it a little bit more secure. Hang on, everyone.
Okay, so that's going to take forever to build, but I like the way I've designed that. The downside is right now we have saboteurs in the base, which I knew we would have trouble because I didn't pause it, partly for the thrill of not pausing it. So we're going to move the henchman and the genius out of the way, and we're going to let all the minions deal with that. This is going to take a long time to do, because I gave so many orders, and with all the additional cost of having to rebuild the rooms, it's going to take a hot minute. But I like the way I've done it. We have a serpentine path now where this section will be cut off eventually. So in order to get into the base, you have to take this long winding route. And all the rooms here are going to be safe rooms where we don't really care if any enemy agents spot the objects. That's going to be no problem. They won't arouse suspicion. Whereas the more secure rooms, the money, the lab, the power room, it's all going to be back here. Now, the saboteur has kind of fucked me over because I chose not to worry about them while they were blowing up my power room. So some of the money that I was counting on won't be available because it's kind of tied up in trying to recover what we lost rather than just being able to sell the objects that have become outdated. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Everything is fine, I say repeatedly. And we're going to square up that corridor as well. Already the barracks is looking much better. And just getting more lockers involved is going to be helpful. More beds as well. Hopefully we don't have anyone trapped. In all the years I've now been playing Evil Genius 2 and all the big builds I've done, I've only ever encountered, I think, two situations, maybe only one, where a worker was legitimately trapped and couldn't figure out how to get out of things, and I had to do a little bit of tweaking to get them reorganized. So, oh, I can fit one more like that. There we go. Yeah. I could have been one of the ones that I had ordered to move and got destroyed before I had a chance to actually deal with it. Well, whatever. So this is going to take a little bit, like I said, but I think overall this is going to be a much better secure base. We have a more open floor, pan floor, floor plan back here where Zalika can rest and she'll be attention. right next to both the training room and the laboratory, which are the two main places where I ever take the genius when I need to prioritize research or training. And the training room will eventually be expanded as well. Through my playthroughs and experimentation, I have found that the most reliable, most organized way to keep the base is to segregate your floors of your lair for each mini in class. So the researchers get their own floor, the valets kind of stick to the first floor, the soldiers get their own partial training floor, they share it with the valets, but we'll keep them on the first floor. But then the control room gets its own floor, the power room gets its own floor near the technicians. So there is some logic behind what I'm doing. Also, we're going to have a lot of people upset about not getting paid. That's okay, too. We are running schemes on the world map to get money, and it's going to be a little rough go for a while as we try to get the cash to do what we need to do. I sort of screwed myself by not saving up my loot missions for this big build, especially because I did not anticipate just how much it was going to cost to do this, but that's okay. We'll get through it. I'm just going to do a very long time skip. There are, of course, safer ways to do this, and the way I've done it means a lot of minions are starting to run away with piles of my gold. So we're just going to execute anyone who tries to take any money and run away from us, which is another reason I've designed the base as I have designed it. Oh, techies still get to... Yep, here they come. Anyone with that symbol over their head with the little walkie symbol, that means they're looking to get money and then run. So with my genius stationed here, no one's going to be able to do that. 
we can re keep our money here. And it's going to kind of suck because we're going to be chewing through our specialist minions because the ones who are running away are not the yellow shirts. But that's okay. We can have a little bit of a personnel problem while we get reorganized. It's fine. Everything is fine. We're almost reorganized now, but I like Zalika's conference table. She's in the middle of everything. She kind of looks confused. I thought she was holding a microphone for a second, but I guess she's just on her wrist computer. But also, Iris's whole situation here, where she's in a chair with the monitors constantly scrolling information, it kind of reminds me of the one vault in Fallout 4? Or 3. Fallout 3. Where a lot of people were in stasis pods like that, going through this weird nightmare scenario where they were alive, but only their brains were functional. Very creepy. Anyway, we're almost fully restored now. Have a little bit of time to go, but I'll check back in once we have the rest of the base operational. You can see we've pretty much gotten everything taken care of. There's just a few things that are left to do to get the base fully reestablished. I have found an unintended consequence of designing the base as I did. I don't know how viable it's going to be in the long term. But this agent here disguised herself and got into the base. But by the time she managed to... Oh, this dude was tagged. Never mind. I suppose what I was going to say sort of doesn't uh, apply here. But one of my minions, or one of the enemy agents, it took them so long to walk this hallway that by the time they did, their disguise wore off. And they were escorted back into the casino. Now, I don't know how this guy managed to get through a little easier, but he's not doing all that well. So I have a feeling that for the lower rated minions, I think the length of the hallway is going to really help out. And it's going to stop them from getting too deep in the base. But... And I, there might be a few more things I could do otherwise. I could serpentine the path more. Like, yeah, there. She did it again. Elena Peck. She keeps trying to get into the base, but she can't get far enough. And I'm trying to get more cameras set up. Interrogation. Just recently built another, has given us secrets. Uh, another room. Yeah. Just built another room for, uh, or another security desk so I can get more cameras going. So, maybe with a couple more cameras this will work out. And then this one I don't have to worry about with cameras because no one's going to enter the base through here. So I put some loot down. That'll give the minions some inspiration as they go off into their big missions out on the world stage. And with that technological research, we can now start... Okay. With that technological research, we can now start doing the mission for the loot. So we're going to upgrade our criminal network here. Or we would, except I don't have enough broadcast strength. So I guess that's something I'm going to do real quick. And then we'll be, able, we'll be able to get the first bit of loot. And then move on with the main story quest. It's taken a while, but we got our flying pig. We went to all that effort to capture a flying pig. And you're telling me it was a ride. It's not your fault, boss. All the mentions in the newspaper were really ambiguous. No one could have known. This isn't over. We'll find new sources, conduct new raids, engage in new... Are you even listening to me? Sorry, boss. It's just that the ride does look kind of fun. And the line's getting kind of long. Fine. Ride it all you like. Let's just... Never speak of this again. Understood? Pretty sure. That is understood. Okay, so no one else is there. We've got our first loot. I don't think we need to do any side quests for the moment. So, 
all I'm concerned about, aside from the flying pig, is to continue the MSQ for a moment. So we need to gain some investors on the world stage. Got one here. Can grab that as soon as we have another tacky. Which we're about to get a couple by the time I do some clicking here. We'll have it. Okay. So we'll get our fourth investor. And it looks like the fifth one is in Western Africa. And luckily I do have a criminal or broadcast power I can expend to go there. So I'm still working out of Anvil mainly. Just trying my best to run some schemes. Because apparently the way you trigger the super agents is you have to complete schemes in the various regions. So that's why I'm going hard for Anvil. The earlier we can get... Symmetry to show up to the base and then leave the better So even if we lose the flying pig or whatever, that's fine All right, we got that so we're gonna get out of there and Then immediately do this I'm all you I'm usually paranoid about losing my loot, which is why I try to keep Symmetry out of the base and keep her nice and um, neutered, I guess. Yes. But Spade would be the... Well, whatever. Anyway, the point is, we try to keep Symmetry contained. Um, I still haven't looked up how to properly do that quest, but or that achievement, but I also don't really care that much. I like the mystery of... Not knowing, you know? I don't like looking stuff up if I can help it. Alright, so we've got our... Uh, our our investors. Construct the void prototype in your inner sanctum? How does that work? Hold on, hop off of your chair for a second. Oh, it's an actual building. Or... Object. Got it. Void prototype. Here we go. Um, sure. Let's, I guess, kind of stick it here. I mean, any place is better than nothing, I suppose. Actually, let's move this over to here. And then move this over to here. There we go. That makes me happy. Oh, just realized I'm over 15 minutes, so while the minions build the Void prototype, enjoy these mid-roll ads. We'll be back in a few seconds. And we're back just in time as the Void prototype is built. Let's demonstrate device. Am I demonstrating it on a minion? What is? What are we doing here? The investors are checking it out. Oh, oh yeah, a yellow shirt has to... Okay, we're just draining the thoughts out of some random bastard. That's fine. What's your name, buddy? Alex Batista. He is very hungry. And he has a bad back, but he plays guitar. So, I think that's a good one to drain his thoughts. All we're gonna get is the lyrics to Wonderwall, but at least it's better than nothing. And we'll add it to the blob. Alright. Well, the minion seems okay. Oh, he's a Void Worshipper now. He still plays the guitar, but their mind has been scrambled by the Void's presence in your lair. So does that mean his bad back is healed? Very strange. Alright, let's present Void to the... to the investors. Oh, there she goes. I was like, why aren't you going over there, Zalika? Alright. Well, good thing the investors are on board. And if they're not on board, we'll murder them. As we do. I see from the ticker that some saboteurs have arrived. We're gonna have to keep an eye on them. Hopefully we can keep them in the... Task complete. Okay, I guess the investors are happy-ish? I don't know Specific. where they're going. Let's, let's check the main objective real quick here. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. We just need to gather some data on the world stage. Anyway, the... Hopefully we can keep the saboteurs contained within the casino. They're not getting... Oh, there they go. I was gonna say they're not getting auto-tagged. They should be getting auto-tagged. 
Apparently they don't get auto-tagged until they're a few steps within the casino, but... Well, at least they're being distracted at the moment. Hopefully we can keep them that way. Alright, so let's check the world stage. We'll gather some data. Um, looks like there's one here. Is that a level 1? Yep. It's so going to be a level 1 mission, so we'll do two at once. And I don't see any in Anvil. Is that another one? Yeah, wow. Huh, we just need more techies. We'll need six techies per mission, so I'll bump up our techie count to 15 for now. That is way higher than I generally like it this early, but it'll work. And, oh, yeah, I guess I'll keep an eye on the saboteurs. Meanwhile, I may as well do a little bit of work here. Uh, let's get rid of these beds. Then grab the locker, because we're going to start needing more and more people here in a moment. So I may as well start the process of cramming in more lockers. I've been asked before why I leave a two-tile space around most objects. Because um, you really only need a one-tile space, but that's sort of a just a habit from the original Evil Genius where you did need two tiles around everything. And I know I don't really need to do it here, but old habits are hard to break, you know what I mean? So that's fine. Uh, that's a 54 minion count, so that helps. Hey! One of the saboteurs was caught. Where's the other one? I don't see the other one. Did we? Oh! Oh, he's already been caught. Okay, good. Seems like we've got him under control. We just picked up the Brainwasher 2000, which is good because I... One of the achievements is to brainwash 50 enemies. So having that early is good. I don't really need the traps. There's nothing I really need immediately that I don't already have. Oh, the safe rack will be helpful. And start getting some more cash. You've built a prototype, demonstrated it, and convinced the world's sharpest tech investors to give you gold to develop Void. It's a vote of confidence. Surely they would never invest in something, or someone, dangerously unpredictable. There have been some unfortunate side effects during demonstrations of Void. Well, nothing works perfectly right out of the box. Being exposed to a flood of other people's opinions seems to make users angry. They're turning violent. So, we invented social media? Oh my god, Zalika is evil. Perhaps a little fine tuning then. You have zero seconds. I don't know what's going on there, but that's probably fine. In the lair, those exposed to Void worship the device that turned them into monsters. Around the world, the exposed investor's strange behavior is drawing attention. Violence is only occasionally the answer, and this is one of those occasions. Defend your lair. Oh, okay, I guess we're just killing a bunch of people right now. What is happening? Who the hell are you guys? Yeah, okay, they're, they're worshippers, they're void worshippers. I guess these are the ones we're trying to murder. One thing I found about Zalika is she's got a gun. She's not as good in hand-to-hand -hand combat as... Okay, could we get some assistance over here, please? I mean, Zalika's in no danger of dying, but let's just kind of... There we go, get that over with. All right, and then we need to cure investors on the world stage and also have a minion use the void prototype? Oh, I guess because we're studying the effects, right? Is that what the storyline is? Hold on, I need to figure out... Yeah, study the chair's effects by making someone sit in it. Have at it, you douchebag minion! Alright, otherwise, let's head to the world stage and... Oh good, here's something that's available immediately. Let's kill the heat in the area, that way it's ready for us. And meanwhile, we need seven valets and... Oh, man. We need so many more people. Okay. Let's bump our scientist count to 10, lower the techie count to 10, raise the valet count to 10. We already have our so soldiers at 10. That should be enough for now. I'm not going to have 
Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it does mean I'm only going to be able to do one mission at a time, but that's okay. And then we have a soldier one here. Oh my god, I need 11 guards, so I'm going to need to bump that up to 15. Which I know I don't have to, but I like working in fives in the game. So, I guess we'll just hold it steady with, like, this. Good lord. Need lots more minions. Hey, Symmetry is here. Okay, let's bring her to the lair immediately and then see I if I can try to I figure out crash. what she's going to do and not do. And then go from there. So the idea is we are going to not tag her. What I worry about is if she's going to immediately engage in the genius when she sees her. If she doesn't, if she just kind of creeps around and then leaves, hopefully that's all I need to do. But they always seem to just pop off and attack. And I don't know how to fix that. So let's just watch her and see if she'll leave the boss alone. Yeah, she just walked by Zalika and didn't really care. I've given them no reason to attack. And the only loot we have is the flying pig, which one of them took. And then the three freebies. And that's okay. Just as long as they don't attack, I'm happy with things. Yeah, I think they know exactly where the loot is. I think their pathfinding takes them right to the loot. So... What I may do is if they start to head to the casino. Oh no, they ignored it. That's interesting. So she was just exploring that hallway. No, what are you doing? Go back to the exit. Why are you coming back to the lab? Oh, it's like they heard me. Yeah, they're going room by room as if checking to see if there's any loot in there. I'm going to disable the automatic security zone here because we don't want them tagged for any reason. One of my valets is leaving. That's fine. I'm just going to let bad things happen for now. It's okay. Just all for the pursuit of an achievement. If I really cared that hard, I could have saved right before trying this achievement, but where's the fun in that? Let's see if this works. And as long as... Symmetry remains invisible. That should be all right. Seems like... No, go back! Go back to the exit. Where are you going? Why are you guys checking the barracks again? There's nothing in here. He already looked at it. Why don't you go to the exit? Just get out of here. Follow the big flashing exit signs. All right, they're in the casino now. That's a good sign. And they haven't completely obliterated my money. I'm already back up to 24000 and I'm not even really trying. And they had been... The maximum had been about, what, 80,000. So it's not like I'm short that much cash. Even if they somehow steal the pallets themselves, that's fine. Because we can always make the safe... Uh, the safes as well. All right. So they got distracted for a moment from the roulette table. It makes me think I should disable. Yeah, let's switch these to scam tourists. We don't want to stop the agents right now. Okay, they're thinking about leaving. Come on, guys, get out of here. What more do you ladies want? Just leave. There's nothing to do in this casino. Nope, they're heading back toward the... Main base for some reason. I don't know if there was a room they didn't check. Or if their AI is just that confused. I don't think they went fully into the control room. But they definitely poked around. Or maybe they're trying to get to the helicopter? I'm curious among achievement hunters what the most aggravating achievement is in this game. And I would bet this one is going to be up there. Most of the achievements in the game are very straightforward, but this one, you're relying kind of on RNG. Okay, so they are heading back to the helicopter. Maybe that's how they're going to escape the island. 
Yep, seems so. We're heading... Okay, now they've been fly... So they went there just to see if there was loot through this door. That was the only room they hadn't seen yet. So now they're going to try to leave probably by the casino. I can have $50,000. Is that like the minimum I'm allowed to have? Oh no, I do still have five pallets they didn't touch. Okay, so they're going to get away with my flying pig and a little bit of other stuff, which that's fine. I wonder if they're programmed that they can't take all of the gold pallets because they don't want to leave the player without anything, maybe. Yeah, they're making a beeline for the exit. I think I finally got this achievement. Symmetry is the one bringing up the rear. Hurry up, you go-go dancing bitch. Leave it to Symmetry to make an exit where she needs what... Everyone else is taking the yacht, but Symmetry herself is going a different way. But she's good and free now. Oh, she's taking a dinghy, I guess. Yeah. I'd say catch me if you can, but I already know you can't. I hate you. I hate you more than anything now. Uh, wait a minute. That didn't pop the... Oh, there it is. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Okay, I finally popped that achievement. That thing has been an albatross around my neck for four friggin' playthroughs. So I'm glad we finally got it solved. Next time I see you, Symmetry, your ass is mine. And I don't mean in a fun way. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is build some safe racks here. And then I suppose that will do it for this episode. How many can I cram in here real quick? Two, three, that gives me three tiles to work with. Okay, that's good enough for now because you want to work in, or I like having them uh, nine wide anyway, or nine tiles, that is three, uh, three safe racks. So this is fine. And once we've got a little bit more cash. Yeah, that's pretty good. Once we've got a little bit more cash, I'm going to have some traps in this hallway as well for anyone who gets it that deep again, which will probably be symmetry. But for now, that's good enough. And I am over 30 minutes, so it's time to wrap up. So thank you all very much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to finish getting the investors cured and continue the main story quest. We also need to befriend a friend, in heavy quotes, Agent X, so we can work through some of his story so we can eventually get Zalika's other achievement. That'll do it for today, and I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.